on July 6, 2013. A freight car containing 72 tank cars of crude oil that originated from the Bakken Formation runs away while unattended and derails in Lac Megantic, Quebec. Several cars explode, resulting in 42 confirmed dead and five missing and presumed dead. More than 30 buildings in the town's center, roughly half of the downtown area, are destroyed. It is the deadliest rail disaster in Canada since the St. Hilaire train disaster in 1864. Uh, October 19th, 2013, Canada. A Canadian National Railway freight train with 13 cars carrying crude oil and liquefied petroleum gas derails west of Edmonton, Alberta. Local residents are evacuated in Gainford, Alberta, located 53 miles from the capital. A fire results, no one was injured. The 8th of November, 2013, in the United States, a 90-car freight train carrying crude oil from the Bakken Formation in North Dakota from Amory, Mississippi to a refinery in Walnut Hill, Florida, derails and explodes near the town of Aliceville, Alabama. The flames, which shot upward 300 feet high, were left to burn themselves out there were no fatalities or injuries. December 30th, 2013, several grain cars from a westbound train derail and strike an eastbound train carrying crude oil from the Bacon Formation near Castleton, North Dakota. Several crude oil cars explode, resulting in large clouds of toxic black smoke, which forced an evacuation of the area. No casualties were reported. January 7, 2014 in Canada, a Canadian national train carrying crude oil and propane derails near Plaster Rock, New Brunswick and burns for days. The resulting fire forced an evacuation of about 150 people from within a two kilometer radius. No injuries were reported. April 30th, 2014, United States. About 15 tanker cars on a CSX unit train carrying Balkan crude oil through downtown Litchburg, Virginia, derailed along the James River. At least three of the cars broke open and ignited, while also spilling at least 50,000 gallons of crude into the fiery river. No injuries were reported. The 4th of February, 2015, in the United States. A Canadian Pacific Railway freight train derailment in nearby Dubuque, Iowa spilled ethanol fuel when three cars plunged into the Mississippi River and another three cars of the 11 which derailed caught fire. Dubuque, which is 14 miles to the northwest of Galena, has almost 60,000 inhabitants. No reported in injuries and no evacuations. A Canadian, oh, February 14th, 2015. A Canadian National Railway train heading from Alberta to Eastern Canada derailed 50 miles south of Timmins, Ontario, resulting in an inferno and an oil spill. 29 rail, railway cars in the 100 car train derailed Seven caught fire, no injuries were reported. On Monday, February 16th of 2015, a train hauling more than 100 tankers from North Dakota's booming oil fields derailed during a snowstorm in West Virginia. 
The accident sparked a massive explosions that prompted the evacuation of two nearby towns and an oil spill that threatened the water's supply of thousands of local residents. The train was heading toward Yorktown, Virginia. It came off the tracks 30 miles southeast of Charleston, West Virginia. A state of emergency was declared by the governor and oil spilled into the Kiwana River. One home was destroyed during the inferno that lasted for 10 hours after the derailment. One person was injured. March 5th, 2015, here in the United States, a train, 103 of its 105 cars carrying Bakken crude oil, was traveling from North Dakota. It exploded in Galena, Illinois, near the Mississippi River. Eight cars derailed and two caught on fire, sending plumes, sending plumes of smoke and fire into the sky above Galena, a town of over 3,300. No reported injuries and no evacuations.